Hey everybody, my favorite battery company, Watt Cycle, has started their Black Friday sales and we've got two really great ones right now. First, we've got the 12 volt, 314 amp hour, non-Bluetooth, on sale for $3.99 and you can stack my discount code on top of that to take this thing down to $3.60. That is an amazing price that we haven't ever seen before, particularly for something of this capacity. The second great deal is the big boys, the 12 volt, 628 or 12 volt 314 which is basically two of these bolted together in a metal case with bluetooth are 999 and again you can stack my code on top of that so you've got three different options for some big 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 capacity at some great pricing so if you ever wanted to build a power station for yourself this is a very inexpensive very easy way to do it you take your battery you take your inverter of choice, drop it on the top, connect wires down to the battery terminals, and you're ready to rock and roll. I've made multiple videos on how to do this. If you're in an apartment or some other place where you're really space and weight constrained, this is a great way to give you a couple of days worth of battery backup. We've got winter coming to most of the planet right now. It's Texas, it's still 90 degrees here, but it's coming. So you can have a lot of power in a really tight package. I always recommend that you buy two. So having two 12 volt batteries gives you a bunch of options. You can either parallel them for 12 volts or series them for 24 volts. I'm a big fan of 24 volt systems. I've made multiple videos on why, but by having two, you can get a lot of flexibility. Again, you can stack my discount code. So two batteries will take you to just over $700 for 8,000 watt hours of capacity. So compare that against any pre-made system on the market, Ankler, EcoFlow, whatever, there's no way you're gonna get 8,000 watt hours for $700. Yeah, you've got the price of the inverter and the battery charger, but that's still a ridiculous price. Speaking of chargers, Watt Cycle's got them also. We got a big boy here. The wires just go onto the bolt terminals here to recharge the thing. This is a 60 amp, which is, you're gonna need a big charger if you wanna recharge this battery at uh, any reasonable speed. So check out the links down below for some great pricing, some discount codes. The rest of my video will recap some of the past builds that I've done. Thanks everyone, catch you on the next one. Hey everyone, today we're gonna build a very, very powerful portable power station, and I'm only gonna use a screwdriver. This is gonna give you a lot of capacity and a real small package. Check this out. This is a Renology 700 watt inverter that uh, surges to 1400 watts, which means that it'll be enough to kick on the startup surge of your refrigerator or chest freezer. Not sponsored. A Little bit of Velcro. We've got these jumper leads that came with the inverter. I prefer something a little shorter and a little bigger, but for this low capacity, it'll be just fine. Get some shorter ones if you want. We'll slide the little cap back over the inverter. Put the little cap on it. Slide the cap back. It comes with two sets of M8 screws, a shorter set and a longer set. You're gonna to wanna to use the longer set because we're gonna put two ring terminals on one bolt. So I got the harness for my battery charger. Put my little caps on. And now for my secret weapon. Furniture dolly from Harbor Freight, about 20 bucks. Cargo strap. And guess what? You're done. So now you have a portable power station with over 3,500 watt hours of battery capacity with a 700 watt inverter that'll kick to 1,400 watts so I can run my refrigerator or my chest freezer for two or three days. It's on a cart with wheels, weighs about 50 pounds, so I can pick it up and move it around. 
I got my AC charger over here to recharge it when I get my power back. And it took me five minutes and a screwdriver. Not bad. So why do I like this battery so much? Obviously, it's really, really, really small. I know this thing doesn't look real pretty with the wires hanging out of the back of it, but you can easily make or order shorter ones to kind of neaten this up. But this took me five minutes to build and with just a screwdriver and will save you hundreds of dollars over buying something pre-made. I can run my refrigerator or my chest freezer for two or three days on this, you know, depending. So if you like this idea, I'll put some links down below. Thanks. Catch you on the next one. Hey, everybody.